Here we are for some quick spaghetti and meatballs because we're in a hurry, we're hungry, and I'm not going to make meatballs like I've done in previous videos. These are the good old frozen can that I got from GFS. That's right, my favorite frozen meatballs. Mm -hmm. Meatballs for a week. Made with beef. It's not mystery meat. It's the real thing. <laughs> anyway, got ragu chunky or whatever you prefer. We just happen to have this available. Pour this, what did you say it was? 20, 24 ounces. 24 ounces and then probably about another half a jar of water. And of course, what else? It's garlic. Garlic. Just a little bit. A little dab will do you. Ooh, that smells good. It's the tub. Just a little bit as he adds two forkfuls of there. Mm -hmm. Then a little like Italian seasoning. Although that spaghetti sauce has got enough seasoning. But seeing as how I put a little water. A little water in here. Hey, I'm not a multitasker. I was going to say something after I got done. See this right here? And, of course, rigatoni. Rigatoni. Rigatoni right there. Trying this out for the first time. We found this at the end of the aisle at the store. And it's all nice little display. Yeah. I thought we're going to try this. So, that is 16 ounces. Call me crazy. I'm going to put the whole thing in there. Pretty sure. Ooh, look at that. Ta da! Fancy. Fancy schmancy. You paid for that ingenuity right there. Okay. Now, this stuff's going to puff up like dog food, but once the water moisture gets in there. So, that's the reason I'm putting the extra half uh, a can of water. Because this pasta dry. Hey, Ozzy, shut up. Dog. Ozzy. Shh. Because this pasta here soaks up the water. And you want to have plenty of that. Um, because otherwise you'll, with this pressure cooker here, you'll, you'll get things too hot and it'll burn up. And then you're going to get mad. So... I'm going, now these are pretty good sizes here compared to those armor all or whatever them things are. Armor? Star. Armor, armor all. <laughs> armor star. They taste like armor all, but. It's pretty big. Now I like meatballs. She doesn't. So that's why I'm going to put extra in there. Because he always is looking out for me. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Think it's enough? Pretty sure. <laughs> Just for that, I'm putting an extra two. You know what? I think we're going to have to put another thing of sauce in there. What do you sauce? Think? Yeah. We're going to go for it. See, you don't want to go too much over that line right there. Because if you do, it'll start it steaming and getting all fussy and everything. And it'll plug up that little valve right there. The so when you re like Yeah, so then when you release the pressure, you got too much liquid in there. It's going to come flying out of that top. Yeah, you might as well. I mean, I can't see them. Save them. Mixed up. Did you want to put any olive oil in there? Um, you don't want to cook. put a little bit of olive oil in there. Another thing, too, is if that was a stainless steel pot, I probably want a lot more liquid in there. But I'm leaving this kind of thick because this is no stick. I should be able to get away with uh, not having to put any more liquid in there because, like I said, it don't take much for this uh, pasta to soak up the liquids there. And when it does that, 
if there's not enough moisture in there to build up steam, it's going to burn on that bottom and then it's going to shut this thing off. And it's going to ruin your day. Did you, here. Would you like to put some more water in there? Well, you know what? Uh, yeah, probably another. Go ahead and put another half jar. So I'm going to put some of this a little bit of olive oil. Hey, you know what? Could heat things up too a little bit. Ooh, while she's not looking, crushed red pepper. <laughs> well, I'm not looking, I'm like five steps away and I can hear him. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it would be one jar yes. to two. Two jars of spaghetti sauce and one jar of water. Yep. Now it looks pretty liquidy, liquidy there, I know, but that pasta is going to soak a lot of that liquid up, so it's going to make it a lot thicker. Plus those meatballs being frozen have got um, liquid built up into them, so when they start cooking down, it's going to release that much more. So that's actually perfect. Look How much olive oil did you put in? I just put a teaspoon, a tablespoon. But right now we're not above the full line right there so that's a good thing so what I want to do make sure that's clean because we need a good seal all right make sure that is on nice and straight and lock that in place make sure that steam valves closed so we can build up steam and I'm gonna I'm gonna put uh, I think I'm gonna go 10 minutes on this Oop. went flying over <laughs> oh call me crazy I'll go 11 minutes and we'll see how it goes and that's only because we're cooking that pasta and I need to thaw those meatballs out so yep we'll try 11 minutes so back in a bit well it's been 11 minutes I let the pressure out already just now and whoopee mm. and we can bam Got a towel. Shake this up a little bit. Hey, now see that stayed pretty thick right there. And look at that. That pasta, man. It stuff swelled up about twice its normal size. There you go. That smells delicious. Spaghetti. All right. So you don't want no meatballs. Or do I'll yeah. Take, I'll take a couple. Mm-hmm. Look at that. And my delightful mm -hmm. Aunt Dolly made homemade bread, so we're going to have garlic oh, there you go. toast with homemade bread. With it. Yeah, bring some of that bread over here. Garlic toast. Homemade. Can't beat that. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that smells good. You just want one meatball, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right. Ooh, you want a little uh, Parmesan on there? Uh, yes. Well, I'm holding on to that. It's really super hot. Yeah. <laughs> little Parmesan cheese already grated. Nothing but the best around here, right? And there it is. Yep. Delicious. Spaghetti meatballs. Uh, frozen meatballs. Uh, two, two jars. 16 ounces. No, no, no. 24 ounces of uh, meat sauce. One jar full of water. Yeah, one jar. And, um, yeah, for 11 minutes. And uh, there you go. So there you have it. Another quick meal there and a power pressure cooker. See ya.